Michael Anker, blind Christian and Tina in the sand, painted in 1880. A picture that's quite incredible. It isn't a picture that immediately delivers its message. You really have to concentrate a little. When you step up to the picture, at about this distance from it, it gets very, very close, and then it's as if the picture draws you into it. Of course, it was painted in scale, and there are two people in it, blind Christian and then Tina. And it's Tina we mainly have to concentrate on, because if you pay attention, she has a slight blush. And then we also begin to concentrate on her gaze, for the whole story is in that gaze. I think her eyes shine with this quiet, natural acceptance of her condition in life. Ingmar Bergman had an expression he used about actors. They make a lot of noise and they show off, he said about them. When they came onto the stage, they made a lot of noise and showed off. That's what this picture really doesn't do, and it has taught me a lot about standing on a stage. It has taught me to go on a stage without making a lot of noise and showing off, but to let it come from within. Speaking of noise and showing off, I did that myself once. At a dress rehearsal where I suddenly got nervous and made far too much of it. Lars Norin was the director. I got the dressing down of my life as an actor. He was absolutely furious. He said to me, you mustn't do anything. In reality, he meant, do as Tina does as she is painted. Now, if you really want to interpret it, what Tina is doing is she's sitting winding up a ball of wool as if it was the thread of her own life she was sitting winding up. <laughs>